Today, we're inside of Luminar AI. And if you wanna pick up a copy of this, check the description box below for an affiliate link, no extra cost to you. You can get a copy of Luminar AI. And if you want to, you can also pre-order Luminar Neo. Now, what we're looking at is a photo that I think many of us have in our collection. It's a JPEG that you just wanna bring back a little bit of life. I think Luminar does a really good job with the AI features that are built into it in order to do that. So the very first thing that we're gonna start off with is Accent AI. And what this does, uh, now mind you, this is a JPEG image. This opens up those shadow areas behind my daughter. If you look at it with it off and then turn it back on, uh, it really just opens up these shadows, right? I love this about Luminar uh, AI or the Accent AI. Um, or enhance. I don't know why. I, I guess I'm clicking on Accent AI, but the Enhance AI. I don't use the Sky Enhancer all that often. Let me know in the comment section if that's something you use if you're using Luminar. But what is cool here, now you can obviously bring this way too far. Now this is a usable image as is like this. Uh, I personally just don't like the way that it looks. I think it takes away from the feel. Uh, just looking at what's blown out there and obviously as I bring this down it gets darker uh, now I think around 40 is probably where I'm gonna leave it and we'll move on to another tool so now I want to go into the light uh, and I know that there's some shadow issues going on here so I'm gonna open the shadows just a little bit and I think that's all that I'm gonna do with the shadows right now because the rest of it, I'm gonna open with a local adjustment. Now, with the blacks and the whites, I'm just gonna leave those alone. I think that my black point, I like where it's set and same thing with the white point. My daughter is very, very well exposed. So not gonna worry about that. And I don't need to do anything in the curve. Super easy adjustment. Now, obviously, your image may require a little bit more uh, work. Now, Structure AI, I like to mess around with this from time to time just to see what I can get from it. And it looks like I can get a little bit more grit in the background. Now, you got to let this sit for a second so it can actually activate. But you can see it's a little soft right now. And now the background which has all this texture in it uh, is really starting to pop and I like that so I'm gonna leave structure AI on just as it is now as for the color I don't think I'm going to mess with the color at all uh, and I don't want this to be black and white but for the sake of just seeing what happens let me convert it to black and white uh, yeah I'm not a fan of it there wasn't enough contrasting items in this particular image uh, it's all pretty much reds right and the only contrast is really happening here to here but that the same luminance is it, it, it's a dark wall with a dark structure um, so you just get different shades of gray and not what I'm looking for uh, I don't need to do anything with landscape and I'm not worried about adding a vignette so honestly, that's where I would stop, right? Just using the essentials with a JPEG. Now, you can obviously go way further, right? If I wanted to really dramify this, if you will, I can bring up the contrast or it's like a, I equate this to the cross process filter in on one photo raw. So if you're familiar with that filter, that's what it feels like. Uh, now. I don't like what it's doing to the image, so I'm just going to turn that off. I'm not going to worry about that at all. Uh, if I wanted to, you know, you can mess around with this. But what I am going to do is come over here to my local masking. I'm going to hit add. We're going to go with basic. And I'm going to open up the shadows. And what I love about using Luminar is when you come over and you open up your shadows, uh, what you get is the effect applied to the entire uh, image until you start painting in your mask. So 
I'm going to open up these shadows and I'm just looking at this area right in here. And I think that's a good place to start. So I'm just going to go ahead and start painting this adjustment in. And now, as you can see, the rest of the image got dark. But what I am getting, and I can show the mask, what I'm getting is my uh, adjustment added into these areas which is what I want. And I'll go ahead and turn the mask off. And if I turn this adjustment on and off, you can see it just opens up a little bit more of that detail. Now, I know that her hair needs it. I'm going to do that on a separate adjustment. And I like to separate my adjustments because uh, they don't always work out the way that you want them to. And if something did work, but then you'd have to go back and repaint, it's just easier for me to delete an adjustment. Now, this is for her hair. So I'm just going to paint this over her hair. And again, this just helps if I decide to print this image. Uh, there's not going to be this huge contrast between the shadow area and um, her hair, which is dark. All right. So, and I could probably pull that down just a little bit and even the structure. I, I do like to add a little bit of a highlight in to the hair. So let's look at the before which is dark. My daughter is well exposed. The, the light was just hitting her perfectly. The background is what needed a little bit of work in this image. And that just, you know, ties everything together. It, it really uh, brightens up the background, the edits that I made. And then she is already well separated. Again, this is a JPEG. I just wanted to demonstrate what Luminar AI can do uh, when it comes to recalling information from a JPEG uh, and editing, because a lot of times we focus on raw photos, but you know, just wanted to show what you could do with a JPEG. If you found value in today's content, go ahead and smash the like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you want to pick up a version of Luminar AI, check the description box. There's an affiliate link at no extra cost to you. You can pick up a copy of Luminar AI. And until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.